<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Tasty in Situ. Today we are making jollof rice. We are starting off with boiling some hot water and getting everything else ready like the rice. I'm going to be using 3 cups parboiled rice. The first step is going to be prepare the rice. We're going to wash off some of the starch off of the rice. You can see I am washing and rinsing and washing and throwing off the excess starch over and over. And as soon as it's clean, I'm putting it into the pot and then I'll pour the boiling water on it. I'll give it roughly 5, 10, 15 minutes max and I take it off and give it some more rinse and that's about it for the rice. You put the rice aside at this point. Second step, prepare the sauce. I'm going to be using the Roma tomatoes. I'm going to be using about eight of them. I am squeezing out the seeds of the tomatoes. It holds a lot of water in it and I just find it faster squeezing out that excess water and then blending the rest of the vegetables with it. Tomato is all squeezed out and washed and I'm going to be using the spring onion. In addition, I'll be using the red bell pepper, the green bell pepper. And so let's do a quick recap of what I'll be using. Tomatoes, onions, spring onions, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, habanero pepper, and I'm going to throw in some shallots in there. For us to get the vegetables ready, we're gonna have to take out the seeds for the bell peppers don't forget to take out the roots of the spring onions and don't forget to remove the rubber bands we don't want the rubber bands in our food and here you see me give a good wash to all the vegetables and everything is headed into the blender Right here, this blender is simply a jar full of flavors. These blended vegetables go into the pot and it's going to be boiled. It's going to be reduced because there's a lot of water in there. Those vegetables all hold some kind of water and would like to make the entire vegetable blend into a paste and so we have to boil it to reduce you can see the different levels and right about here I am moving the paste to the side just to make sure that we don't have water sitting down there all of that water would have to dry up just a little bit more and then the tomato sauce or the tomato paste will be ready Next step, prepare the meat. We're going to be using goat meat. The goat meat gets a good wash and goes on the stove. We're going to chop some onions real quick and add them to the goat meat. Next, go in bouillon cubes, salt. This is a dry sauce blend and some water. The beef is cooking and is being reduced to, but we need some of the sauce to use to cook the jollof rice. Part of the cooking for the goat meat would go on in the oven 
and so I'm putting this in the oven 350 for 15 minutes if you're just joining us for the first time and you enjoy this type of content do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video or an upload here we love likes we love shares feel free to add comments we're glad you are here with us and so the beef is out of the oven but we're going to take this goat meat to the finish line in order to do that we're going to sauce the goat meat just a little bit more and so i'm going to use a fry pan put some canola oil and then add some vegetables to it this is bell peppers being chopped big chunks goes into some canola oil and the goat meat goes in We're going to sprinkle some onion powder on it and a little salt. This adds more flavor to the goat meat. Last step, we're bringing it all in. So we add one cup canola oil into the pot, some shallots, fry it a little, and the tomato paste. Don't be alarmed if it's burning too fast, just turn down the heat, you are the boss of the kitchen. That's what to do. So this tomato is going through a second process of reduction. That's why you see the bubbles still there because there's some water left in it. So you leave it alone for just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. You keep an eye. From time to time, you stir gently. A tablespoon of salt goes in. Two bouillon cubes. What we're trying to do now is sauce this sauce, so to say, to make it very tasty so that everything is infused into the rice eventually. I just added the thyme and curry and here we go with the meat stock, the goat meat stock. I'm adding two cups of water to this mix. The reason is the rice is not fully cooked yet. And so the sauce with these two cups of water brings the rice to the finish line. A good mix there to ensure that every grain of rice gets mixed in and incorporated and I'm adding two more bouillon cubes the final mix and then we put some parchment paper on the pot and cover the parchment paper helps to keep the steam in there and soften that rice and blending all the flavors and just mix it tasty. The pot is headed to the oven. The rice goes into the oven for 350 degrees for one hour. After one hour, let's see what the rice looks like. Super gorgeous, beautiful. The sauce is all mixed in. The rice has absorbed every single bit of ingredient. And I tell you, my friends, this tastes delicious. No canned 
tomatoes in the preparation of this delicious jollof rice. Let's serve. Here I am putting both vegetables and the goat meat on a skewer. Skewers just make everything look so festive, especially when you add some color to it, like the red bell peppers, the green bell peppers. And here I am about to dish the rice, but I'm trying to make it fancy. I put it in a bowl and tightly pack it, press down and then you just turn it upside down just like that and yes I think it looks nice and with the good meat to the side and some garnish all around it's time to enjoy